And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Katarina. We're going to have some Legion Marauder aggro for our next deck here for aggro day. We're going to be hopefully attacking a whole bunch with Katarina being able to rally um, every time we play a leveled up Katarina. And that's going to be important because we got our Legion Marauders that whenever they attack, grant allied Legion Marauders everywhere plus one plus one. We want to hopefully get those to being at least five power and striking with five power. Um, cause that's important for a couple of regions reasons we have, uh, the reckoning that if, if we have our five plus power ally, kill all units with four or less power. So, right. Obviously we don't want that to kill our Legion Marauders. So hopefully we can have like our ruin runner, our Sivir, our, um, Legion Marauders be bigger than that. Um, and be able to kill all of our opponent stuff. Of course we got strength in number for more Legion Marauders, but, um, the other reason why that's important is because of Black Rose Spy. We're going to have this for reputation that um, if we have struck with, with reputation, you have to strike with five plus power allies four plus times. It's just really random numbers. But we have that, then we can have our Black Rose Spies turn into more Legion Marauders for us. That would be pretty cool. All right, but that's going to be our, um, our deck. We also have Sivir, that if we strike a whole bunch, we can level up Sivir. And then maybe we have like Inner Sanctum that can give Sivir Overwhelm. And then whenever Sivir attacks, gives all of our Legion Marauders overwhelm also. I don't know. That that could maybe happen. You know, we can we can uh we can dream. We have um, might to make it a little easier than Inner Sanctum to be able to give the Sivir overwhelm and then everything else overwhelm also. Alright, well anyway, that's enough. That's about our deck. Let's go. Let's uh attack. It's aggro day. Let's have some fun with Sivir Katarina. Oh no, Genfiora. Shen Fiora usually does really, really well against other decks that are trying to attack and block. Just like we're doing. Alright. Um, the Whirling Death is going to be hit or miss. Whether or not it's going to work. All right, just passing the turn. Water changes, but never breaks. Ooh, there's a Katarina. Barrier is pretty rough. <clears throat> right, we don't we don't like seeing barrier round here with Sivir, but the Whirling Deaths can help take out Barrier. So Culling Strike is like the Sharp Sight test. I wish we had six mana, right? Like I wish I could play Culling Strike right now and then we'd still have six mana next turn. That I could still play like multiple other, like, right? Like I just, basically I just wish I could play three of these things. We can't play three. All right, prediction time. Her followers. Block. And quicksand. And then they... And then they use a pump spell. And then we culling strike. Yep, there's the sharp sight. Oh, but I think still stays at zero four. We can only strike this. Ooh, we got to cold link strike that. Danger pays. Seven out of thirty five. Basically leveled up.
All right, I'm gonna try the Whirling Death first. And see what happens. Nope, we're fine. Okay. All right, so I'm, so I'm a little too scared to try another Whirling Death. So Quicksand would make that like, what, a 3-2 with no barrier? Yeah, I think I have to go Quicksand now. Because another Whirling Death... I mean, so they'd have to have a second Nopify to stop Whirling Death. That's not that's not really that likely. Quicksand's safer, right? Quicksand, their thing's dead for sure. But Quicksand's also safer for later as well. I'll still go. I'll go Quicksand. Yeah, the thing is, Quicksand's stronger later. Slow. Come on. The eye of twilight sees all. Chase what you want without mercy. Please don't attack. Please don't attack. I'm trying to scare my opponent here. No, they weren't. They weren't scared. Yes, be scared. Oh, it's even worse. They're like really not scared. Or maybe they're super scared. Yes, they're scared. Okay, good. All right, now, um, deal one five times. This card's so random. With reputation, you cost three. No going back. All right, we got the spell shield, Papa. That's that's uh, what Blade's Edge really says is just spell shield, Papa. Uh, let's see, so sixteen. <laughs> I don't think I'm attacking with the one ones. Into River Shapers. Oh, I'm, I said Spell Shield Papa both times, didn't I? I meant Barrier Popper. It's the Barrier Barrier Popper. Strike, we will reform. So those are both spells. Wasn't this the spell that they put back in? Yeah, those are both spells. Feels like one of them single combat. And then the other one, I don't know. Concerted strike? Okay. So the concerted strike is the two, those things, and then the single combat's just the, that thing. So we're going to go with the whirling death. Wait, so right now. Oh, it's. Oh, 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 okay, so we have break the spell shield and then do this. Gotcha, okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and just have, I mean, you hit for six, so you go and do that. And now, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. That looks good. Now we'll be able to play Katarina attack again. And that'll be game. Might as well play an Inner Sanctum first, though. not technically game. They block Katarina, Sivir. They go to one. I have to wait till next turn for the Ricochet. Understood. Or, you know, playing Katarina next turn. Find spell shield. Oh, 
Overwhelm! Overwhelm! Another victory to fill the coffers. All right, GG's. That's a good win. Oh, Lucian Azir. All right, they go in aggro also. Let's see what we got. We're gonna mul mulligan the two five drops. We'll keep the one and the two. All right. Right of Negation is not a card I want to see, but we got a good 1-2-3. So, good 1-2-3 and a dead card. Yeah, playing playing Katarina decks is always a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy playing Katarina decks because the whole, you know, attack a whole bunch more and... Katarina's pretty cool. See what we, <laughs> we got the, the Bailey Mirror. Ooh, attack for four, turn one. That's a lot. Like a lot, a lot. So currently, I if I go Legion Marauder on three attack, turn four, do nothing. Turn five, I can cast Strength in Numbers. And then, you know, attack again, because we have the attack token, attack token, turn three, turn five. <laughs> Our two Baileys on, on the side just doing random stuff. You're the cooler Bailey. The dancing Bailey. So yeah, probably just do nothing this turn, strike the numbers next turn. Sure. Ooh, and then next turn reckoning. No. There we go. Oh, that's too bad. Look what I found. All right, so yeah, glad they used that plus three plus one previously. Rune Runner's pretty sweet. Show them what we're made of. Yeah. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Great and dumb. Huh. Alright, well never mind. They give me the whole GG thing and then like game's like not even over at all um they probably can't survive this though right yeah because we have the right negation for protection they'd have to have like a rise you know, like burst speed blocker all right lucian is here do you like we played this deck Fairly recently. I don't remember exactly when, but I think it was kind of recently. Um, those two are definitely gone. I think this one's also gone. I know I like Katarina and everything, but it's Katarina's like a really good late game card. It's not really like a three mana card. Um, the Quicksand does seem like really important against Grizzled Ranger and Lucian. Especially since we were gonna have a slower hand, since we were, you know, like we were mulliganing everything, and we weren't gonna be curving out. Prediction started. Legion Marauder has such awesome art too. Like that, that's a just a really cool card. The desert 
by my side. Always forward. Alright, so we get to trade our one spell for their two, but we take four damage. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. You should have run. Alright, good attack. Valor. Um. All right, I think I'm just going to pass. So I can, well, maybe just play this Doom Keeper, and then I still have four mana, so I still have enough for anything. Haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess their hand wasn't very good. I was, I was gonna play the Doom Keeper, and then we were gonna have the uh, all the rest of the stuff in hand, so we could still play Katarina plus Blades Edge or anything else. That's. A <laughs> Same matchup again? You would think like this is the only deck people are playing. I haven't played against this deck like hardly at all recently. Alright, we'll keep one Culling Strike for Lucian. I don't think these have been I think these have been different people. I think these are different opponents. just the exact same game. They're going to play another Doom Keeper, then attack with all four. Ooh, or not. Whoa, stop. Let's have some fun. Let me attack. Let me attack. Let me attack. Do not see what is. See what will be. Okay. Um no, I'll just get this. Come on, boys. Keep your distance. Come on. Let it happen. Yay! Not the plus three plus one card. Good. Dr. Griddle says we need to start having the requirement that once I reach level 2 at Master of the Champ, that needs to be a prismatic of that champ. Oh, I don't have that. Yeah, I don't have that kind of prismatic ability. Maybe not level 2, once you get to like level 4 or 5 or something. Level 2 is a little early. I, obviously, I wish I could play two of these three mana spells together this turn. I'm going to save Cooling Strike because Cooling Strike's better against Azir later. I guess I could play Cat. I can play Cat on one spell and the Blade's Edge. Or I just attack right now and have two spells available and then like inner sanctum. Look what I found. Crows will have what's left. To the streets! Show them the might of our army. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. I realize maybe it's not the best to use the lucky finds. Blah. 
to use Lucky Finds on Leech and Marauder. Why do they have to have a second Azir? What happened? Okay. I don't know exactly what they have in their hand, but maybe just more expensive units, but I'm very happy that they didn't play other units and attack with other units and we just killed that Inspiring Mentor. Oh, they have a Rally. Well, that just isn't that big of a deal, I guess, Like, because that just kills my House Spider. It's not, it's not that big a deal. You know, deal three to me, kill a House Spider. There are worse things in life. Okay. All right, we're at two out of four. No going back. How many? How many? Whatever does it cost to prismatic? A. Look what I found. Um, a champion. You know, a champion. Violence solves everything. Man, I don't I don't want to play this black rose spy, but I have to. Don't believe everything you hear. I'm saving that spell mana. Okay. Blocking you, blocking you, quick sanding you. Go down to three. I guess might you. So they have another rally, we lose. Or a sharp sight, we lose. I guess I should have done this one. Oh no, because that only gives it the one because of the, the minus four. Okay, Woo. staying alive, staying alive. No, the rally, they did have their last card was another rally, oh man. That was going to be a really good lucky find with that, that Marauder. We were going to get overwhelmed for that Marauder. Oh, they just didn't have that rally. Man. All right, Twist of Fate Fizz. I like our chances here. Okay, so we're going to have turn one, Dune Keeper. Turn two, Black Rose Spy. Turn three, Katarina. Maybe just mulligan all three of these. Katarina with the Blade's Edge is kind of nice with this matchup, but it's, um, like I've talked about before, it's it's a card that I don't want to play on turn three normally, the Katarina. It's just kind of awkward how everything costs three mana, though, with our deck. All these, like, all the combat tricks are three mana. Xenotype Researchers. That's not a card you see everywhere. What do we got here? Love the Legion Marauder draw because that lets me keep three mana available for this other stuff. So that's just a great draw. Let me attack. Don't Mystic Shot. Don't Twisted Fate. Just let me attack. Yeah, thank you. All right, I guess I don't attack with you. Plenty for all of us. I mean, if I do attack with you, though, they, they, they like take 10. So maybe I should have attacked with the 2-1. That's not tamper proof. All right. Just take 13. Go to 3. No. Quicksand. They got me. We got quicksanded. A good quicksand. I'm always up for a round or two. <laughs> five five twisted fate. We need a buff twisted fate. I know what I want. Lady Lo. 
Focus Marin. I probably don't die from 12. So we'll go Might on this Legion Marauder. Okay, so right now they're taking 5 and going down to 6. And then this would be 3, 4, 5. So it'd only be 5 damage. So Might doesn't kill them if I go Might on this Legion Marauder. It's 5 extra damage. So it'll put them down to 1. Um, it probably makes more sense. Let's see. So Quicksand... We're just going to do this. It doesn't do as much damage to them, but it kills that Twisted Fate and, you know, keeps both of my Le Legion Marauders alive. Well, wait. I guess not really alive because it's going to die to the Spirit Fire at the end of the turn. Okay, so they're both going to die. But that huge Twisted Fate's out of here. That's good news. Reputation. Gotta go with the flow. Let me at him. That's fair. Yeah, they high roll a Twisted Fate and a Fizz. So just turn into a 1 1. <laughs> How close are you to leveling up? 28? Because if, if I pass, they probably pass, right? I can try going wide, but I can't really imagine that's going to work. This pay by the hour. I guess that's really my only choice, though. I guess that's my only... But that's not going to work. Darn. My best... I think my best hope was just hope was just passing and hoping that they would pass as well. I, I really think that was my best hope. Or, like, not, sorry, that they wouldn't pass as well, but they would play something, right? So, like, they would play, like, something, and then I would Reckoning, and then I would go wide after Reckoning. That was my, um, hope that wasn't a very good hope. That's new. You're provoking it. Yeah, if I didn't quicksand the, tw the Fizz, I was dead. I mean, I, I had to. <laughs> you know, sure, if I, if I didn't quicksand the Fizz, I would have been able to, in the next turn, quicksand Reckoning, but I, I was dead if I did that. Yeah, Xenotype looked amazing, getting Fizz to be that big. That was one I didn't think I was losing whenever we were attacking with, with those Legion Marauders and had the, the two spells. I didn't think we were losing that, but 5-5 five, five, Twisted Fate, 8-7 Fizz, and there you go, GG's. Sprayfin, still being amazing Sprayfin. Um... A big part of that, like, quicksand was awesome for them, right? Like, they had the, the two quicksands, but really it was that, that first quicksand won them that game of, uh, remember, when, like, whenever we mited our Legion Marauder, and uh, they had the quicksand that won them that game. So I liked our deck. The thing that the thing that our deck, the weakness of our deck was every single combat spell cost three mana. And there was just so many times, like, where when we curve out, like, Legion Marauder into Sivir, which is what we want to do, it's really hard to also have three spell mana available while you're doing that, you know, because we usually want to play, like, either a Doomkeeper or a House Spider, like, something kind of early. This deck really needed some kind of combat tricks that cost, like, one and two mana. That was really what, that was the one thing that was, like, the problem. 
Um, besides that, you know, because that's that was the problem. Like Culling Strike, Whirling Death, even the Inner Sanctum, the Might, the Quicksand, everything at three, it it just got a little clunky. And and especially when most everybody else is playing two mana combat tricks. As far as like what to play, I'm not exactly sure. I'm kind of thinking like Transfusion. Um, I know you can have like Ruthless Predator, but I don't know if we're really a Ruthless Predator deck um, too much. But I, I guess it would probably be the Transfusion um, or Brothers Bond, I guess. Brothers Bond's not so bad with like House Spider and stuff. I guess Ancient Hourglass. I don't love that either, though. No, I really don't love Ancient Hourglass. Maybe Transfusion in here. Um, that's that's what it really felt like, is that we just we needed something to play there. But obviously Transfusion isn't perfect, because Rockhopper, Dunekeeper, the 1-1 one, one Spider, right? Lots of one health units as well. If this deck could play, like, Sharp Sight or Pale Cascade, you know, or, you know something like, or Troll Chant, right? Like, if we could have access to any of those with the rest of these cards, it would it would be perfect. Like, that, that would be perfect if we could have any of those. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, we still went 3-2, and two, really close to a 4-1 that, that last game. I mean, really close to a 5-0, honestly. Both of those last two losses, um, our opponents, uh, you know, had some luck in there. The, you know, because, like, the fourth one, like, we we're going to win if they just don't have the rally for their very last card. Their very last card was rally, though. So we lost, and then that game five i thought that we were going to be winning but they had the quicksand to stay alive and then they hit then they drew an eight seven fizz really got lucky on that fizz um so um you know we so we we had some bad luck in our two losses all right but i liked it i love playing katarina decks i like playing legion marauder legion marauder is a lot of fun i like attacking Siver was real you know Siver was really good too um, so everything was really good. I just, I wish we could somehow, Ride of Negation was very whatever. We could, I could do without Ride of Negation. So we could play like Transfusions instead if you want. But um, I, I just wish there was some way, yeah, some way we could play like some two mana combat spells that would be good. Um, maybe, I mean, maybe you even just have to play like Shapestone, I guess. You know, even, even if it's just going to be like a plus one, plus one most of the time, unless you have like Rock Hopper, um, you know, maybe maybe you just got to play that, right? Because we just got to play something early. Maybe exhaust. I could I could see playing exhaust. Um, but yeah, we, we need we need some other kind of combat trick that's not three mana. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Siver Katarina. It was a lot of fun to play. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But that's it here for Siver Katarina Legion Marauders. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.